something moving in there. Not sure what it was, but as long as it's not a giant snake that's venomous, I'm good. It sounded pretty big though. What's going on adventurers? We are currently at a cemetery in Crystal River, Florida. This place is pretty big. It's actually an entire city block. So I'm gonna just make my way around and show you guys what it looks like here. Got the K2 meter. We're gonna see what we get with this. And then I'm gonna go back to the car. Lisa and Athena are in the car. This is actually Athena's very first paranormal investigation, but we feel like it would be disrespectful to bring her into the cemetery just in case she has an accident. So we're gonna leave her in the car and we're gonna go back and do a necrophonic session with her in the car. See how she reacts to that. So this is exciting. This is the first time we've come across the cemetery and we're only, we only live about maybe 35, 40 minutes from this place. So this is pretty awesome. Let us know how you like this place. We're gonna walk through here, like I said, and uh, show you around a little bit. Let's go. This is interesting. It's almost like a little, brick fence but i'm not really sure what it's enclosing i don't see any markers there so i don't know if it's actually like a family plot of people that are still alive not really sure what's this say nineteen twenty six wow so she was born in eighteen eighty three and died in nineteen twenty six no yeah nineteen twenty six wow wow look at this one These are quite old as well. Let's see if anything happens here. I'm telling you, I just heard a gunshot. Every single time, guys. I don't know what's going on. Poor little infant. Died in 1930. Wow, this is very, very old. I feel like this right here looks like a scene right out of the Haunted Mansion on their little um, cemetery that they have right next to the ride. It's crazy. They look like this. Look at this one, whoa. This looks pretty, pretty haunted. This is really old. Let's just see if anything happens here. Definitely get a Creepster vibe right here. Maybe not even Creepster, it's more like I feel energy here. Whoa, what is that? We're going right down there. Look at this. Okay, I've never seen this before. This looks like a treasure chest. This is wild. What the heck? 
It's a little baby. Aw. Six years old. Poor little girl. It's awful. But what caught my eye was the fact that it almost looks like a treasure chest around it. I hate to ever say today's my lucky day when I'm in a cemetery. It just doesn't sound very nice. But you guys know how much I love the Woodsman of the World monuments. And so far I've seen three in this one cemetery. So I'm going to go ahead and show those to you right now, guys. So this is the first one that I've come across. It's a Woodsman of the World. So amazing. I've never seen a white one before. I think that's pretty cool. Isn't that beautiful? I love the detail. All right, so we're going to move along to the next one. So here's the next one. What? This is a woman. This is the first female woodsman of the world I've ever seen. Melissa Smith. That is really cool. Wow. How about that? Pretty amazing. So the other one is back where we came from. I'm going to, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to go back and show you guys. I'm going to show you some other things here. Look at this one. That is really old as well. This side, I think, is definitely the older side. Oh. Is this a grave? Because that definitely looks like a grave. And so does this. Wow. They just don't have any um, nameplates or headstones here. Look at this, guys. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Those are shells. How cool is that? There's a couple of them like that. It's pretty awesome. I like that. A couple more like that, the shells. And then you got this going on over here. Wow. There's a couple more with just the the rocks piled up. This one has something here. I think perhaps there was a headstone here at one point and the same thing with the one next to it. Um, but it looks like it might have gotten vandalized. And it does happen over a hundred or so years. So This one's got a little, uh, little tree stump there, a couple rocks, and a teeny tiny name marker right there. Wow, this is wild. This one's interesting. This one is all by itself. Not very well taken care of, though, unfortunately.
These are really interesting too because they're in cement. Like it's just a slab of cement over top of them. Huh. I've never seen that before either. This is definitely a very diverse cemetery as far as the way things are laid out. Oh, there are four of them here. There are four woodsmen of the world. A lot of woodsmen's here, that's crazy. Check it out, here's another one. This is so exciting. Look at this, guys. Wow, my day has seriously been made. Four Woodsmen of the World monuments in one day. I'm gonna go to the fourth one right now. I see it, I see it from where I'm standing. You're headed over that way. Okay. Would you believe that I just found one, two, three, maybe four more Woodsmen of the World monuments right now? This is crazy. Okay. So this is the other one I was talking about that I had seen on the way over to the ones that we found that I showed you first. Very cool. I gotta go check this one out real quick because this one looks like it may be as well, but I'm not 100%. It's a different one than I've ever seen. Yeah, it sure is. This one is really cool. This is basically a stack of logs. Uh, never seen this one before. So I'm guessing logging was a really huge career around this area. very popular. I'm going to try to talk to them on the Necrophonic today if we can. Ooh. I know that's from a gate, but that seriously looks like a weapon. Okay, guys. So this is so crazy. Look at this. There are three right here. What was that? I know y'all heard that. Okay, so there are three Woodsman of the World Monuments right here. Look at that. Is that awesome? Unbelievable. Go ahead and walk through here. Okay guys, so I'm headed back to the car now. I think that was a pretty good tour. You guys got to see, you know, the lay of the land here. And we found some pretty cool things. So I'm gonna go back to the car and turn on the Necrophonic. Lisa and Athena are waiting patiently in the car for me to return. Let's see how Athena reacts to the spirit activity. She has heard the Necrophonic before, so I don't think that's gonna weird her out. Um, I think the spiritual presence may, but we'll see what happens. So let's do it guys, Athena's very first paranormal investigation. What's Lisa doing? You're not gonna believe this. What is my very favorite kind of monument in the whole world? Woodsman. Guess how many are here? Two, three. How many are here, Athena? 
Athena, look, mommy, come here. Guess how many? Okay. Athena wants to turn on the spirit box, I think. Guess how many? Four. Guess. Eight. Seven. What? They have seven Woodsmen of the World That's monuments. Cool. And guess what the kicker is? What? One of them is a woman. No kidding. Yes, seriously. That's right, Athena. There is a female woodsman I don't know. She, buried right was here. Was something spooky happening? She was like, yep, yep, and that was it. She probably was feeling something. I mean, look, up here. Come here. What you doing, baby girl? <laughs> Athena has been out cruising with us today. We were, uh, it was our first time out in the Mustang ever today, so. She's been getting bigger, so we're thinking maybe it was time for her to take a little trippy with us. She loves it. All right, so do you want to get back in the car and turn on the neck row? Sure. Uh, she can go to the bathroom. All right, she's probably right. I don't know, maybe she's just upset because you were in there. I think so. Okay. Here. Look at that. That solved that problem. Look at that girl. All right, guys, so we put the K2 meter right here in the car so you guys can keep an eye on it and we will check in on that every once in a while all right so Lisa's over here in the driver's seat ready to turn on the necro and we got our little co-pilot back here where's our co-pilot she's uh, behind you there's our little co-pilot there's our little co-pilot <laughs> what are you doing silly Lisa. Lisa. all right guys we have started to already get some activity here on the k2 meter Lisa just turned on the necrophonic and we are going to see athena's trying to help <laughs> she wants to be part of the investigation yeah. she wants to yeah. be an active said, part yeah. oh. spirits this is athena do you like athena searched this is our paranormal puppy <laughs> pet Let's see yeah and it's a, somebody said cat. Wow, they love her. Can you please come and grab our K2 meter so that it lights all the way up for us? Somebody's been touching it, and that's awesome, but please go ahead and wrap your hand all the way around it. Make it really light up. You can do it. We're friendly. We just want to come talk to you guys and let everybody know that you are still here with us. That was interesting. All right, so we're gonna keep watching for you to light up that K2 meter. I know you can do it. I know you'll do it before we leave here. It's funny because spirits have their own time and doing things like they don't like to be told what to do i completely understand that so i get it you'll do it in your own time so we're gonna just keep watching let's see if lisa has oh Whoa. as soon as i turn the camera away really guys really can you do it again uh, for me please look look all right we're looking Enjoy. <laughs> athena did it say Athena? I don't know. I think it said. She was looking at her. <laughs> Can Athena see you? <laughs> Can Athena hear you? Hearing us. And then she's very, like, she's excited. <laughs> Can you can you say her name? Where are they, Tina? Where are they? All right, why don't you go ahead and ask some questions? I'll keep an eye on the K2. Can one of the woodsmen of the world come and talk to us, please? Is, is Melissa here? Melissa was one of the woodsmen of the world. I'd like to talk to Melissa. Okay. Melissa, if you're here, can you say your name? Oh. 
It is hot in here, guys. There's a little breeze starting. It's just so hot and she laid down. It said Lisa again. Oh, hi, who's this? Paranormal puppy, what is it? <laughs> She's actually being really good for her first time. Okay, go lay down. Oh, we just got a nice spike on the K2 meter. Can you do that again for us, please? I'm going to give Athena a treat. Can you light it up if I give her a treat? Athena! Whoa. It said Athena. I, see, I so heard that. I'm going to give her a treat. Oh, it lit up! It lit up! I what do you did that? When I give her a treat. Watch, watch. Do it again. I'm gonna give her Can you light it all the way up and we give her another treat, please? All right, we're gonna give her a treat. Here you go. It said treats. Did it really? It did. Nina. All right, can you light it all the way up? We gave her a couple treats. Please. Say lunch. <laughs> they stopped now. They like that. Liked. Did you like it when we gave her treats? <laughs> Zoops. <laughs> She get a Zooks treat. Did you have a pet? Here. I did. Here. Here. Oh, thank you for lighting that up. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. What kind of pet did you have? Did you have a dog? What was your dog's name? Bruiser? Look. What do, you, what do you want us to look at? Oh! Oh, wow. It's still going. Thank you. Now I know what you wanted us to look at. Can you take it all the way to the red? You just have to hold it a little longer. Take it all the way to the red for us, please. That was absolutely amazing. If you love Athena, light it to the red. All right. It said, now look. Are you getting ready? Are you getting ready to do it? <gasps> look at this. Red, red. That is insane. Thank you. She was licking your arm. Athena started, seriously started licking me when that happened. That was weird. They love her. Did you, did you live here? Yes. Can you say the name of this town? No. Are you are you happy? I think they said Lisa. Oh. What can you tell tell us about the Woodsman of the World Monuments? Hey, was that gunshots? Was it? Uh, it sounded like it. It did sound like gunshots. Okay, we gotta roll, guys. That was crazy. That was like rapid fire. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Every single time, guys. Every single time. Basket. We are in a cemetery. We hear gunshots lately. I don't know what's going on. Was that gunshots? Was that gunshots? Should we go? Are we safe? Just are, are we in danger here? <laughs> oh my god. Athena, are we in danger? <laughs> Oh. 
I, I'm getting a bad feeling, guys. Like we need to roll. I think we gotta roll. I think it's time to go. It's been a pretty awesome adventure. It actually feels like it might be getting ready to rain. Okay, guys, we just drove to a little safer spot. Uh, that road was getting a little dicey back there, and it started raining, so we put the top up. And it seemed like the um, spirits wanted to keep speaking to us, so we'll give it a few more minutes. Was there anything that you wanted to say to us that you didn't have the chance to say to us just yet? Coming. Are you coming to with us? And you have to stay here. You can't. You're not allowed to follow us home, but we will come back and visit if you'd like that. Uh, Would you like us to come back and visit you? Uh, you have a beautiful uh, cemetery. Uh, <laughs> Wow. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello to anybody? Can you say the name of the town where we are? That was interesting. They, they said they said Bay, and we are right near King's yeah, Bay. Bay. Maybe it was called something different. Maybe it wasn't called Maybe Crystal River back then. Maybe it did used to be called King's Bay. Well, thank you so much for talking to us tonight. We appreciate it. And thank you for making the K2 meter go off. That was awesome. Is there anything else you want to say before we turn off the necrophonic? I think I heard goodbye. Thanks for talking to us. Goodbye. Alright guys, so we had a pretty eventful evening at the Crystal River Cemetery. I'm not even sure if it's called the Crystal River Cemetery. I just know it's in Crystal River, so... It was pretty eventful. We got a lot of action on the Necrophonic as well as the K2 meter, which as you guys know, it takes a lot to light that thing up and especially all the way to red. So shout out to the spirits for hooking us up today because that was really cool. And they did it on command. That was unbelievable. So shout out to Athena. Where's Athena? There she is. Shout out to Athena for joining us for her very first paranormal investigation good job paranormal pup so i think we're going to make a paranormal pup t-shirt so if you guys want to see a paranormal pup t-shirt with athena's face on it let us know guys i think that'd be pretty cool all right we love you guys thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on our next raptor adventure